Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to church. We're so glad you are here with us this morning. If you hear my voice, make your way into the worship center. This is going to be a special morning together. So if you're here in person or you're watching online, welcome to church. I'm Travis, and on behalf of everybody here at Central, we're really glad you're with us this morning. If this is your first time here, we have a really cool connections card that's located in the seat back in front of you. Or if you're watching online at centralwesleyan.org slash connect, we would love for you to fill this out so we can help you get better connected here at Central. Man, this is going to be a special, special week. Lots of exciting things that are taking place. And I want to take a few moments just to share some of the things that are going on this week. I've got an exciting announcement to make to all of us here that our Grand Rapids campus has found a church, and we are excited to announce that the church has affirmed us being able to purchase it from them. But in order for us to purchase this church for our Grand Rapids campus, we must come together next Sunday at 4 o'clock in the chapel to be able to affirm the decision to go forward and purchase this church. I've had some people ask, can we see the church? Yes, Check out our online and through all of our social media, and uh, we are going to be offering a really cool open house tour of this church in the coming week. So really pumped about that. We're also really excited about uh, our ministry called Celebrate Recovery. We have many people that are a part of Celebrate Recovery ministry, and if you're here and you haven't been a part of it or you are looking at getting reconnected in Celebrate Recovery ministry, it's kicking back off again on September 11th in a new location in our new student center. If you want more information on that, head out to the information desk and uh, there will be a group of people that would love to talk to you more about Celebrate Recovery. Last but certainly not least, something that we have been counting down the days for is our summer baptism at Holland State Park. And I am excited to announce that we have over 60 people signed up to get baptized this Sunday evening and we are thrilled about that. If you're here and you are participating in baptism or you're coming out just to party with us, the baptism is at 6.30 p.m. at Holland State Park. And uh, we also have a park and ride option, which we're really excited about, starting at 4.30. And that's going to be at the fairgrounds. We've got shuttles that will be taking people out so you don't have to worry about paying money to get onto the state park. Uh, we're going to be on the north side of the beach. There's going to be tents set up, so look for the tents. There's going to be worship down there, a message, and then a ton of our lovely people getting baptized. And we are so proud of you and so excited about beach baptism. If you're here and you're saying, you know what, I still want to get baptized. There's still an opportunity. And after this service, we have people that would love to talk with you. Head to the information desk and they'll point you in the right direction. And we also have opportunities right at Holland State Park to sign up as well. So we're thrilled you guys are here this morning. It's going to be a morning of celebration. And so at this time, if you could stand up Give a hug to the person sitting next to you. Shake their hand. Give them a fist pound and say, welcome to church. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. Welcome to church, everybody.
nothing is impossible with God. Amen. Literally nothing impossible. The things that we see, the people that have turned around and given their lives to Jesus, we can just say, wow, God, you're amazing. We're celebrating that new life today in Him. As people, as our awesome brothers and sisters are giving themselves to this public, this public confession of Jesus. And we can say that God is for us. He's not against us. Amen, guys? Let's declare this together. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out.
Jesus, you're the king. You're the king. And we gladly submit to you right now.
Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I don't want to ever get over that, that my sin had a price to it, had a cost to it. That song ends, it says, tell the world of the treasure you found. And this afternoon, our brothers and sisters, these over 60 plus people who are gonna be getting baptized this afternoon in the state park, they're going public. They're telling the world, listen, I was dead in my sin, but because Jesus' death and resurrection, I'm alive just as he is alive today. We have so much to celebrate today. <laughs> Praise his name. First Peter tells us, always be prepared to give an answer to be able to tell everyone the reason of the hope that you have. We're gonna hear some of the reasons, we're gonna see them in just a minute as we sing this song together. You can be seated, but I wanna encourage you during this next song as you are eyewitnesses to these testimonies. You may wanna stand back up, you may wanna shout or clap or, or sing along, but we're all gonna continue to praise the King because He is the one that has given us life this morning. Praise His name. There's a reason why the curse of sin is broken. There's a reason why the darkness runs from the light. There's a reason why we stand here now forgiven. Jesus is alive. There's a reason why
Amen. Amen. He is alive indeed. And what we want to do to celebrate the lives of those who are getting baptized, if you are a friend, a family member of somebody who's going to be here, go ahead and do us a favor. Come up and join them at the altar. You can put a hand on their shoulder or on their head. Just pray blessing over them. If you are getting baptized, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to kneel. In the act of baptism, what we are saying to God and to the world is that I am all in. I'm asking God to cover every single part of me, body, mind, spirit, soul, for his purposes and for his glory. I'm asking him to redeem my past, step into my present, and propel me into the future that he has called me to by his death and resurrection. So let's pray together. Father God, I thank you for every single life that is represented here. We thank you that you went to, when you went to the cross, you went there with their face on your mind and their name on your lips. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your sacrifice is enough to cover any part of their past. And your resurrection power is capable of sustaining them in any event in their future. And God, I pray that this moment would be a milestone, would be a turning point, would be a catalytic event for them in their spiritual journey. That it marks a new beginning. And that as such, their lives would be so drenched in your grace that other people would want to follow in their footsteps as they follow you. So God, I pray your rich joy, your amazing favor, and your incredible blessing over all of them. Meet them in the water in a powerful way this afternoon so that your name could get praised and your kingdom could be advanced. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen and amen. Give them one more big hand as they make it back to their seats. Thank you. Thank you. You may have a seat. If you were if you were compelled as you saw their faces, and I don't I don't know, but did anybody else just notice that the joy temperature in the room went up by like a thousand degrees? Just that the um, the smiles were just they're they're rich and authentic. If you're somebody who is a follower of Jesus Christ and has never been baptized, like Travis already said, there's still an opportunity for you to sign up for this afternoon's baptism. If you're not yet a follower of Jesus Christ and you read the words on those signs that said forgiven and hope and loved, and you have never stopped to consider the fact that Jesus Christ is inviting you into a life-transforming relationship with himself, please meet with the prayer team after the service or have a conversation out at the information table in the lobby. There is time for you if today is your day of salvation. If today is your day of redemption, there is an opportunity for you to mark that with baptism uh, at the beach this afternoon. We would love to see you there. So in our time of great celebration, it's also appropriate for us to acknowledge that this is a time of deep sadness for members of our expanded central family who have lost loved ones. So uh, in just a moment, we're going to lift up the Emmerich, the Smith, and the DeVisser families. We're going to ask God to hold and sustain them in their time of deep loss. So let's, let's go to God again together. Jesus, you are the author of joy, but the book of Hebrews also teaches us that there is no human emotion that is unknown to you. And Lord, in our loss, in our mourning, in our deep sorrow, there is comfort in knowing that you step into our sadness with us. And you look to comfort us and sustain us and catch our tears in your hands. You have promised to walk not just on the mountaintop, but to accompany us through every valley. And we pray, pray, Lord, that your grace would sustain those of us who are facing challenges, the loss of a loved one, struggle with illness, disappointment, rejection, abandonment, and, and, and any of those forms. Lord, remind us that you are the resurrection and the life, and in that there is hope. We thank you for choosing to walk with us. And we pray these in Jesus' name. Amen.
We have worshipped in song. We have worshipped in uh, witnessing stories. And now we're going to have a chance to worship with our giving. Giving back to God uh, with his tithes and our offerings out of all that he has given to us. One of the reasons that we give is to sustain the work of God. To propel the mission and the word of God forward in our community and around the world. And if you need any evidence that God is doing something incredible in and around this place, I submit to you the 60 plus lives that were just standing right here. God God is continuing to expand his family by pulling people into uh, the redemptive table. And he's using just your service, your attendance, your faith, and yes, your giving to make that happen. So let's celebrate God's goodness to us as we give back to him in a spirit of joy and gratitude.
chase down my heart through all of my failure and pride. On a hill you create light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. As you speak, a hundred billion failures disappear. When you lost your life, so I could find it here. If you let You the one.